Hi, I'm John Holden. Welcome to Earth. Our next story takes us here to a beautiful wooded park right outside the little town of Shanahan, Illinois. A great place to go hiking, biking, kayaking on the river. And speaking of the Des Plain River, it's hard to imagine that just 50 miles down the river is the big city of Chicago with almost 3 million people. And every one of those people, including you and me, are sometime today going to be using some kind of plastic, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. As I found out, it all depends on what kind of plastic. Let's take a look. In general, plastic has gotten a bad reputation in terms of the environment. But while we can't ignore the fact that it's become part of our throwaway culture, people tend to lump all things made of plastic into one box. In fact, there are many different kinds of plastic, each with a unique purpose. Plastics play an integral part in our daily lives. Helmets that keep our kids safe. Energy-saving insulation in our homes. Food packaging that reduces waste. And insulation for medical products like life-saving vaccines and test kits. One kind of plastic used in all of those things I just mentioned is called polystyrene. Here in Shanahan, Illinois, barges filled with styrene monomer, the basic building block of polystyrene, line up to have this raw material offloaded for processing. Polystyrene certainly doesn't deserve the negative attention that it currently has. Uh, it's simply misunderstood, and those people who understand polystyrene view it pretty positively. Polystyrene's inherent material properties often mean that less material needs to be used in the first place. So take this foam coffee cup, for example. It's almost 98% air. So along with using less material, you get unparalleled material properties, such as insulation that prevents the coffee from burning your hand, or alternatively in cold temperatures, keeps vaccines cold uh, during transportation. Plastic products are often regarded as low-value, disposable items. But materials used for similar purposes don't easily break down in a landfill. Most plastic alternatives require industrial-scale composting facilities, which aren't available in many communities. Polystyrene can be recycled with up to five different types of technologies. Uh, but there are two that stand out in particular. One is dissolution. In this technology, polystyrene is dissolved in a solvent, impurities are removed, and then the solvent is evaporated off, leaving polystyrene ready for reuse. Another technology, depolymerization, is very well suited for polystyrene due to polystyrene's simple molecular structure that can be broken apart back into individual molecules, impurities separated, leaving styrene monomer with properties almost identical to conventional styrene monomer. This means that the material can be repolymerized into new polystyrene and can even be used for food and medical applications. As we've seen, all plastic waste is not created equal. The best solution is to make plastic easy to recycle, to close the loop from production to reuse. The company Ineo Styrolution treats polystyrene as a valuable resource. We're working with a lot of partners right now to really collect more waste, polystyrene waste, and turn into this process. And we're working into projects on a global basis in Europe, in the Americas, and in Asia Pacific to eliminate the food waste the, and the plastic waste for the future. Basically to incorporate and create a real circular economy for polystyrene and styrenic polymers. What we're doing here is testing our polymers to make sure that the, the uh, recycled materials are suitable for our customers. Uh, verifying the impact strength, the thermal resistance, the chemical resistance, uh, all, of, all the various aspects that make the, make the plastic suitable for our customers. Uh, this polystyrene is very versatile. You can use it over and over again, and we verify that here in our laboratory. We're standing in our production facility here in Shanahan, Illinois. This is where we make our polystyrene. Uh, what you see behind me are the tanker cars that bring in the additives that we use 
for producing polystyrene. The styrene comes in via uh, boat barges up the uh, river and that polystyrene then is produced here and shipped out in large rail cars, which is used by our customers to make the packaging that people use for their foods. Closing the loop with polystyrene recycling ensures an infinite life for this valuable material, lowering its greenhouse gas footprint. A circular economy for polystyrene is certainly possible. We have the technology and the tools that we need, and the next step is for everyone in the value chain to come together to bring this to reality. You know, sometimes we hear so many negative things about plastic that we forget that some companies are working harder than ever to make plastic better for the environment, to make our rivers clean, our wooded areas pristine, and our plastic more green. I'm John Holden. Thanks for watching.